then how come the manufacturers of the vaccine have full immunity? So let's just step back. It, it, that that's actually a good point. Like I don't I don't like Pfizer, for example, having no responsibility if the vaccine causes something. That shouldn't be the way. They should be held accountable if something happens. There shouldn't be an immunity or responsibility. What up, YouTube? So, Aaron Rodgers. I'm not a huge NFL fan, but even I knew who Aaron Rodgers is. He's quarterback for Green Bay Packers. I actually watched... The only Super Bowl I've watched was Green Bay Packers against somebody. I don't remember who, but somebody. I'm not a huge NFL fan. But he said a lot of things and got, got into trouble. And then he got in trouble because he lied about something and now he's fined. So before we go any further, subscribe. There's still the giveaway coming on the 21st day. Uh, you have a chance to win a 100 euro gift card for Steam. Like the video, comment down below. What do you think about the whole scandal? So Aaron Rodgers stated that he's been studying and listening to, for example, Joe Rogan. A lot of doctors too, about how to immunize, immunize yourself against COVID. And you could uh, see where this is going. He's a pro athlete. If the league decides to mandate that you have to be vaccinated, I don't think the best way to go is to lie about that. But yeah, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, Aaron Rodgers got into hot water about a podcast, the Pat McAfee show he was on and the statements he told about uh, his like stance on vaccines and COVID. And before we go, what he said yesterday and that he has been fine today, we need to probably show you a little backstory. So the backstory is uh, Aaron Rodgers consulted good friend Joe Rogan about COVID-19. Aaron Rodgers delivered a number of singers in his first interview since testing positive for COVID-19, including his sh shared approval of Ivermectin with Joe Rogan. During an impromptu appearance on the Pat McAfee show on Friday, Rogers said he saw advice from the podcast host about treatments of coronavirus and also a lot of doctors, not just uh, Joe Rogan. He also consulted doctors, but yeah, let's continue. I've consulted with a now good friend of mine, Joe Rogan, after he got COVID and I've been doing a lot of stuff that he recommended in his podcast and on the phone for me. This vaccine is revolutionary, however, we don't know a whole lot about it. This is Pat McAfee tweeting out. I think the thing that, that is so about what disappointing is... We can, we can listen to this. ...that it was not just that, but it was the coercion and the collusion you know, of GM saying they're not going to they're not going to sign non-vaccinated players, and the coercion for player 54 through 90 who thinks if I don't make this squad that I'm on now in training camp, I'm and I'm not vaxxed, I, my my career is over. Um, so there wasn't even opportunities. Workers in those same. Then, as a professional athlete, you may you might consider, okay, this vaccine has little to no side effects or like bad sides to it. And then I, on the other side of the uh, spectrum, there's me losing my job as a pro athlete. So take a vaccine which helps you or don't take va vaccine and don't have a job. Like, I, I, that's not a difficult decision, unfortunately. Same environments, had no opportunity. Workers at the facilities, and it's happened all over the country. You were seeing these mandates for firefight uh, firefighters and policemen and government workers who are saying, well, no, it's, you know, what about my body, my choice? You know, what about making the best decision for my own circumstance? And that, that, that again, that health is, is not a one size fits all thing. I think that's the thing that's, that's most disappointing. Look at our squad. We've had, you know, I'm the second uh, non-vax player to test positive. It's pretty evident I tested positive being around a vaccinated individual. I mean, that's the majority of people I spend time with. Um, there's been dozens of individuals that work at the facility that are vaxxed that have tested positive. 
Yeah, but being vaxxed doesn't mean you don't get COVID. Being vaxxed is actually helping that you won't fucking die from COVID. There's a huge... It doesn't make you immune to the disease. Read a little more. So this idea that it's the pandemic of the unvaccinated is just a total lie. And I go back to, like, these two questions for the, uh, you know, for this woke mob. Like, uh, number one, if the vaccine is so great, then how come people are still getting COVID and spreading COVID and unfortunately dying from COVID? Like, if the vaccine is so safe, then how come the manufacturers of the vaccine have full immunity? So let's just step back. It, it, that that's actually a good point. Like, I don't I don't like Pfizer, for example, having no responsibility if the vaccine causes something. That shouldn't be the way. They should be held accountable if something happens. There shouldn't be an immunity or responsibility. I can realize like this vaccine is revolutionary, the things that they're doing. However, we don't know a whole lot about it. And to just say that it's a blanket for all that ails you, in my opinion, they're taking decisions people who are just pushing their own type of propaganda on the people and, and I personal health decisions in my the ringer and over scrutinized by, you know, people who are just pushing their own outcome to get off on so much of their own issues. But that's interesting. You might respect it. And Joe Rogan podcasts. So yeah. He's he stands on the vaccine and saying that he consulted Joe Rogan was the issue everybody had and he also said that he is actually vaccinated but he doesn't uh, look down on people who aren't vaccinated he has an allergy to an ingredient in the mrna vaccine produced by pfizer and moderna actually this is this is the perfect thing uh because that was long the uh, reasoning why I couldn't take the vaccine was because I was, uh, according to the uh, WHO, I was alert uh, in the risk group because of my allergy uh, allergies for influenza vaccines, and this may contain the same ingredients. But there's a new study now that it, it really doesn't, so it's safe to take it. So Rogers, Rod, Rogers may be able to take them. You can go and check yourself in the WHO's website. And this caused a lot of back backlash. I can show you. This is Aaron Rodgers in Twitter at the moment. He lied. He got fined. Aaron Rodgers lied and got away with it. I guess I, it was only a white lie. Oh yeah, they are comparing Aaron what Aaron Rodgers is uh, going through with uh, the Kaepernick case. I don't think that's comparable. I think that's a dumb take. Don't Don't... Don't run with that. Those are completely two different uh, things. Don't fucking go with that. Uh, I don't think Colin Kaepernick should have lost his career. But I think these are two, uh, two completely different uh, issues. How oh, very white was the NL NFL. So basically Twitter is just hating on Aaron Rodgers. Is, uh, is what Aaron Rodgers is saying wrong? Uh, in some cases, yeah, he's a professional athlete. If the league decides that you have to get the vaccine in order to be able to play, you must take the vaccine. And because there's little to no like dangers in taking the vaccine, there shouldn't be a reason like a pro athlete wouldn't take it unless he wants to uh, retire. I'm an athlete, Rodgers said. I'm not an activist. I'm going to get back to doing what I do best. That's playing ball. I shared my opinion. It wasn't one of the one that was come to frivolously. It involved a lot of study and what I felt like it was best interest for my body. Further comments I'm going to keep to myself and my of, of and my doctors. I feel really, really good, he said. I'm definitely fortunate to have the type of care that I've been able to have. I know it's special and it's helped me get through this. Yeah, like, he's a fucking millionaire. Let, let's not forget that. Like, he's not your average Joe getting COVID. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. Like, people were complaining that he gives a bad uh, he he gives bad advice to people like people are listening what he's saying I'm, excuse me if you're fucking listening to a NFL player 
for medical advice. This may come to come to a surprise, but he's not a fucking doctor. You shouldn't take your fucking life advices, medical advices, from an NFL quarterback. Only thing you could take like advices from him is like read more. Yeah, that's a good ad. That's good advice. Listen, that's good advice. Uh, how to throw a th uh, throw a football? That's also something he might know something about. But being a doctor, ah. So if you're if you're a fucking Florida man and decide to okay, Aaron Rodgers said that I took fucking D vitamin and got immune to co uh, COVID, and you d decide to fucking eat 15 kilos of vitamin D and die from it. Well, one less idiot from the gene pool. And now today it was news that he got fined. Yeah, NFL fines Green Bay Packers Aaron Rodgers for violating COVID pro pro protocols. So he got a fourteen thousand dollar fine, which is which is nothing. And also the the team and Rodgers lost a lot of like endorsements, which is understandable if you're such a big star like Rodgers is, and you say stupid things. You can think those. You have the right to think those. But do you fucking have to say them out loud? Of course, freedom of speech, blah, blah, blah. But there's also consequences if you're if you're an NFL uh, quarterback and you spout shit like that. You can't be so fucking naive to think there's nothing. Uh, there's, there is, isn't anything going to happen. Should he be punished for thinking like that? No. Should he be punished because he's... He came out of the open and stated, yeah, he's a fucking pro athlete. So when a, when a dude says like th something like this, a star quarterback, all of what he's saying is automatically linked to those companies he's working for. So yeah, he should be punished. But yeah, this is my take. Well, what do you think about it? Should Aaron Rodgers be completely... Is his career... Uh, should his career be over? Uh, leave a comment down below.